that's our first example on exact differential equations. Now, our first exercise is exercise 6 on page 36 of our book. And we, asked, we are asked to find the general solution of the differential equation quantity x minus 2y dx plus 2 times the quantity y minus x dy equal to 0. Now, now as I've said, we need to check whether the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now, you have to remember that the m term contains x and y variables. And if you differentiate this with respect to y, then you have to assume x as, as a constant also, including the constants already here, the whole numbers. And if you differentiate n with respect to x then the variable y is assumed constant also so i hope you understand that now our m is x minus 2y now if we get the partial derivative of this with respect to y x is a constant that's why if you differentiate this with respect to y, this is 0. And minus 2y, the derivative of that, the partial derivative of that with respect to y is negative 2. Okay? Now, n is 2y minus 2x. And if you differentiate this with respect to x, then 2y is 0. And minus 2x with respect to x is negative 2. Now, you have satisfied the condition and indeed, you are dealing with an exact differential equation. Now, the solution. Like equations in homogeneous coefficients, there are actually two solutions and we will start with the first one. You can start integrating mdx which is this term and how do you do that since you have a y variable again if you integrate m dx y is a constant okay now you have to remember that m is a partial derivative of x which is partial derivative of f with respect to x okay so the the Integral of m dx is the integral of partial derivative of f with respect to x dx, which is the integral of x minus 2y dx. Okay, again, y is a constant. Now, the integral of x dx is x squared over 2. And the integral of uh, minus 2y is minus 2xy. Because again, 2y is a constant. So, the integral of 2y dx is 2xy dx, 2xy. And after integrating, we need to add a constant of integration. But in this case, we need a constant of integration that is a function of y. And why do we do that? Because when we integrated the uh, m term, we assume y as a constant. So, we have to have a constant of integration here that is a function of y. Now, if we differentiate, this is already f. This is already our solution. We need to determine now our a of y. And why this is f? Now, if we go back to uh, m, m is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And integration is antiderivative. So, after integrating the partial derivative of f with respect to x dx, then you go back to f, which is actually our solution. But again, we still need to determine a of y. Now, the next step is to get the partial derivative of this with respect to y. 
And why do we do that? Because partial derivative of f with respect to y is also equal to n. It's very important to take note. Okay. And if we get the partial derivative of this with respect to y, then x squared over 2 is a constant. So this is 0. The derivative of minus 2xy is 2x. And the derivative of a of y is a prime of y. But, again, n is also equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y. We, we dealt with the m term here, and uh, n, which is a different term, is also equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So we can equate n, which is this term, to this term here so 2 times the quantity y minus x which is our n term is equal to minus 2x plus a prime of y which is this term okay so obviously if you distribute 2y minus 2x then minus 2x will be cancelled and it follows that a prime of y okay so we distributed here so minus 2x will be cancelled so it follows that a prime of y is equal to 2y. Okay? We just switch positions. Okay? So in order to determine a of y, then we need to integrate this with respect to y. Okay? Integrating a prime of y dy will give us a of y is equal to y squared because the integral of 2y is 2y squared over 2. So 2 will be cancelled. Since we already now have our a of y, then we need to substitute this a of y to this function here. So after substituting, you have now f is equal to x squared minus 2, or x squared all over 2 minus 2xy plus y squared. But f in x of y is equal to c then you can equate x squared all over 2 minus 2xy plus y squared squared is equal to c. Multiply the equation by 2 to remove 1 half here. So you have x squared minus 4xy plus 2y squared is equal to 2c. But 2c is just equal to c. Then x squared minus 4xy plus 2y squared is equal to c. So this is our solution to the exact differential equation. This is one of the solution of the exact differential equation. So the second solution will be discussed in the next video. Thank you and good day.